Welcome back, dev friends. In this video, we're exploring top trending and best dev tool projects this week. You'll discover open source tools that can instantly speed up your workflow. We've got UI libraries like React Suite and creative playgrounds like 3JS Sketches, plus smart tools like Homespan for DIY home automation. Let's jump right in and see what you can build today. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, React Suite, a comprehensive UI component library for React. And imagine building a web app where you don't need to design buttons, tables, modals, or navigation from scratch. You just assemble ready-made, well-tested pieces that work seamlessly together. That's exactly what React Suite, often styled as RL Suite, delivers. It's a free, open-source, MIT-licensed collection of React components that helps developers build feature-rich web applications quickly. React Suite supports modern React with TypeScript, major browsers, and server-side rendering, so tools like Next.js work smoothly with it. Its catalog is broad. Layout primitives, containers, grids, stacks, navigation and menus, forms and inputs, tables, modals and overlays, data display components, icons, typography, notifications, and plenty more. One design philosophy of React Suite is flexibility. Nearly every component supports an as prop to swap the root HTML element, and unhandled props are forwarded, letting you integrate it with routers, custom DOM attributes, or third-party libraries without friction. For developers building admin dashboards, internal tools, enterprise apps, or any web UI that needs consistency and speed, React Suite cuts down boilerplate and gives a polished, accessible base to build on. If you want a robust UI foundation that balances freedom and ready-made components, give React Suite a try and see how fast your interface comes together. Project number two, Moss, a compact Rust-based Linux-compatible kernel. Imagine a world where your operating system kernel, the deepest core of your computer, is written in a modern language designed for safety and clarity, not decades-old C code. That's what Moss delivers. Moss is a Unix-like Linux-compatible kernel written primarily in Rust, plus some ARCH64 assembly, aiming for reliability, performance, and safety while still working on real hardware and in emulators. Moss runs on ARM64 devices and under QEMU, making it compatible with boards like Pi 4, Jetson Nano, AMD Crea, IDEM X8, and more. It implements enough system calls and kernel functionality to boot, manage processes, and run many user space utilities, enough that BusyBox commands work on it today. What makes Moss matter right now is that it shows how far modern system software can go when built in Rust. You get memory safety guarantees, fewer security risks from classic C-style bugs, and a lean code base YAM 26,000 lines that remains understandable, auditable, and maintainable. Moss is ideal for OS researchers, system dev enthusiasts, and anyone curious about safe by default kernels or custom minimal OS builds. If you want to experiment with a safer modern kernel, whether for embedded devices, hobby projects, or learning OS internals, give Moss a try and feel how bare metal computing becomes safer and more elegant under the hood. Project number three, MDRI, semantic grep for code, docs, and more. Imagine having a tool that does more than text matching, one that finds where ideas and meaning live inside your code, docs, PDFs, or images, no matter how the variable or function names change. That's exactly what MDREAP delivers. It's an open-source CLI-native search tool by Mixbred AI under Apache 2.0 license designed to let you grep your entire repository, code, text, PDFs, images, and more using natural language queries instead of literal patterns. With MDREAP, you run a quick MDREAP watch to index your project or repo, then type something like MDREAP, where do we set up auth, to get semantic hits, paths, line numbers, or page references that match the intent rather than exact strings. It supports multilingual and multimodal search, text, images, PDFs, audio video support is planned. For developers, documentation writers, or AI agent builders dealing with large or messy code bases and mixed file types, MDREAP offers a huge boost. You don't need to remember exact names or regexps, just describe what you're looking for. It also helps AI agents reduce token usage by yum 2 coar compared to naive search via grep plus LLM flows. Try it once and feel how much easier navigating large code or docs becomes. Project number four, Dembrandt. Instantly extract a website's design system. And imagine visiting any website and with a single command, extracting its entire design language. 
colors, fonts, spacing, logos, and more. That's exactly what Dembrandt offers. It's an open source CLI tool written in JavaScript that scans a site's CSS, TML, and computes a design token set, giving you a structured palette, typography scale, spacing rules, and UI theme metadata. Dembrandt helps designers, developers, and UI engineers who need to reverse engineer or integrate existing site styles quickly, whether for redesigns, theming, or consistency across projects. Instead of manually copying colors or measuring fonts, you get clean JSON or equivalent tokens. The tool saves hours of manual effort when you want to adopt or adapt a UI design from the web. Because it runs locally via CLI, you retain control. No external service, no licensing issues, full data on your machine. It supports pulling out logos, color palettes, font stacks, spacing scales, and border rules. Enough to reconstruct a usable design system. As of recent community discussions, it works reliably on many modern sites. Try it once on a site you like, and feel how quickly design system reuse becomes real. Project number 5. Claude Agent Desktop. Desktop interface for agent-powered Claude tools. Imagine having a native desktop app on your PC, where an AI assistant lives. One that can chat, manage files, help code, and stay ready in your dock or taskbar. That's what Claude Agent Desktop offers. A desktop wrapper for Claude and its associated agent tools, delivering a smoother, more integrated experience than a browser tab. Claude Agent Desktop runs on Windows and Mac OS, and serves as a client for agent-style tools. Behind the scenes it uses the Model Context Protocol, MCP, to safely give the AI controlled access to local files, structured data, or connected services, so the assistant can read documents, update files, run scripts, or fetch data from your environment when you permit. Because the tool is a local app, it avoids browser distractions and loads fast. Users get features like tab chats, history, drag and drop files, local storage, and the ability to run multiple sessions or projects simultaneously. This tool is built for creators, developers, researchers, or power users who want a stable, always ready AI assistant on their machine with more control, privacy, and convenience than web UI alternatives. Give it a try and feel how working with AI becomes more seamless in your everyday workflow. Project number six. 3JS Sketches, Creative 3D Browser Sketch Playground. Imagine opening a browser and with just a few lines of code, watching colorful 3D shapes swirl, morph, and glow under your mouse or keyboard control. That's what 3JS Sketches delivers. This open source collection by user Zoiron gathers a wide variety of small interactive 3D scenes built with 3JS and TypeScript. Perfect for experimenting, learning, or prototyping visual ideas quickly. Each sketch lives in its own folder. You clone the repo, run npm install, then start a local server, and instantly get live interactive 3D visuals in your browser, from abstract blobs and particle waves to rotating shapes, galaxies, and shader-based animations. Because these sketches are modular and small, you get huge creative freedom. You can use them as learning tools, base templates for bigger projects, or playgrounds to test shaders and 3D logic. 3JS Sketches is ideal for web developers, digital artists or hobbyists who love 3D coding and want instant feedback, full control over rendering, and easy browser deployment. Try it today and see how a blank browser turns into your personal 3D canvas. Project number 7. Homespan. DIY Home Kit for ESP32 Smart Devices. Let's dive into the world of Homespan, a clever open source library that turns modest microcontrollers into full-fledged smart home accessories, no extra gateway or hub needed. Homespan implements the official HomeKit accessory protocol, HPR2, for the ESP32 family, ESP32, S2, S3, C3, C5, C6, under the Arduino IDE environment. With Homespan, you can write Arduino sketches that directly expose functionality. Lights, sensors, switches, motors, RGB LEDs, servos and more, to iPhone, iPad, Mac home apps or voice assistants like Siri. The library supports full HomeKit compliance, pairing via setup codes or QR codes, Wi-Fi or Ethernet connectivity, IPv4, IPv6 dual stack, and can operate either in accessory mode, single device, or bridge mode, multiple devices behind one ESP32. 
Developers get tools like PWM for LED brightness and servo control, IRF via on-chip signal peripherals, addressable LED strip support, stepper motors, and even point-to-point -point communication between ESP32 devices via ESP Now, all inside a familiar Arduino-style API and optionally with OTA updates. Homespan is ideal for hobbyists, DIYers, makers, or anyone building small-scale smart home hardware. You can create custom devices, smart lights, sensors, doorbells, automation hubs, and control them natively from Apple's ecosystem, giving privacy, local control, and hardware flexibility. Try it out and feel how building a personalized smart home becomes as simple as writing an Arduino sketch. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these tools, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment your favorite repo from this list, and hit the bell to stay updated. Don't forget to star the repos and try their demos, links in the description. Have any suggestions for upcoming videos, share them in the comments, I'd love to explore more tools for you.